Well, being a caregiver can be a struggle, and especially if you're dealing with a loved one or family member with Alzheimer's and dementia. Well, we've got a new support group coming up, and to tell us more about it, to my immediate left, Mary Beth Dressel. She is program manager with the Alzheimer's Association of Northwest Ohio and Teacher Banks, of course, with Bradfield Community Center. She is the program coordinator, and thank you both for coming today. Thank you for having us. Okay, so Mary Beth, uh, support groups. I mean, you try to sprinkle them all around the area of, for mm. the, that the Alzheimer's Association covers. They're important key, right, to, to dealing with this whole disease and, yeah. and Alzheimer's and dementia. Yeah, Alzheimer's and dementia is one of, I've always said, one of the hardest diseases to care for. All Caring for somebody with any disease is difficult, but this takes a special toll on a person. So mm -hmm. they truly, truly need an extra layer of support because it's a very isolating disease. So um, it, the more support you can get, the better. Okay, and so... Tisha, why? Why Bradfield? I mean, I assume you guys talked a little bit, but I mean, you feel like it's a good fit that you bringing a support group to Bradfield will be will be a good um, thing for people in the area. Yes, well, Mary, Mary Beth and I, you know, we had conversations. She said, I've been looking for a facilitator and more specifically um, to more colors. Okay. You know, um, so just thinking about it, my grandmother suffered with dementia, and so I said, I'll do it, okay. you know. Yeah. And I know a lot of um, people that attend uh, the Bradfield Center, they're also dealing with, you know, taking care of a loved one, uh, their spouse or their parent. And so I said, what way to uh, do that if they're already here, let it be be, be here. And right. so that's why we decide to go with that. Right, yeah. I mean, she mentioned, I guess, diversity is also important, right? I mean, this covers, there's... <laughs> It covers everyone, so yeah. to have support groups in the right areas yep. to make people feel comfortable, is that kind of the first step? Because sometimes people don't even like support groups. Yeah, because, you know, if you're, and, and people's perception of support groups are, are not always the true percep not true reality either. Um, you know, you don't sit around and hold hands and, you know, <laughs> hug. Maybe some people do hug it at the end, they become friends, but it's more, I mean, you can come and literally not say a word. You can come and just sit and listen and listen to other people's story. The, the, the main point is just to realize that you're not, what you're feeling and what what you're going through is not you're not alone in that mm -hmm. and that's that's where the power lies in the support yeah. group right yeah well yeah I'm glad you mentioned that because I think people feel pressure that mm -hmm. they're gonna have to talk when they <laughs> go you know yeah. but um, how do you feel the support groups gonna go like in your vision when it starts on April 9th uh, what are your hopes your dreams for this support group so not knowing uh, my class that I usually do at the Bradfield is a support group. <laughs> um, so I just see it just trickling on into, you know, this just, you know, this topic with Alzheimer's. Um, I see it growing, but of course, being intimate, um, being able to share if they want to share. Yep. Um, you know, you have some that just want to be there just in the presence of someone that they can relate to. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I my expectations are. Yeah. It's just for them to set the tone however they would like it to look out like it will be for them. I am just there to help attend that. Right, yeah. If they want to get a speaker or learn more about a topic, mm -hmm. you can bring that kind of thing. So, as yeah. you said, kind of what the group wants, yes. you're kind of there for it. Is that how the support groups run with the Alzheimer's Association? Pretty much, yeah. They're all unique, you know, depending on, you know, you, you get certain people that, that attend. So, they're, they're, all, they're all run similarly, but different at the same time, depending right. on who's there and who, what they want, the all needs right. of the group. Okay, it'll be at Bradfield Community Center the second Tuesday of each month, 1030 to 1130. Information on the screen. It starts on April 8th. Wonderful stuff happening at Bradfield. Thank April you both 9th. for coming today. April, April 9th. 9th. Yeah, yeah, did I it right Sorry. on the screen. Okay. Right <laughs> on the screen. You said it wrong. It's right on the screen. Okay, good. All right, thanks for coming <laughs> Thank today, you. ladies. Thank you. All right, don't go away. We'll look at the weather forecast next.